Okay, so it sounds like there's something that's happening with MIA, the custody of her child, Rock Nation as her, like, label, and her, I think they're, like, Arabian or something, her ex-husband, who's remarried again or has got a girlfriend or something, who's now the stepmother to MIA's biological child. It seems like there was something that happened in court, which, like, I think they took custody from her. I don't really, I don't understand. I think they said she doesn't have a real job or money or something. And I I don't understand. This doesn't make sense to me because, like, whoever, the guy that she married supposedly is, like, really wealthy. So um, unless she signed a prenup or something where, you know, he's not giving her any money after they separate, she would have, like, you know, what is it called? The the marital money that like it, when you get into a marriage with someone and you don't have a prenup and then one person has like basically all of the funds um when you if you divorce for whatever reason or you separate um they're still like um what the fuck is it called it's basically like a cost of living thing that the wealthier person gives to the not as wealthy person to make sure that their lifestyle remains the same and then there's also child support. So, like, if all of that money were going to MIA, then she would have enough money to then support the child. So there wouldn't be a need for only one parent to have custody. It's very clear that, like, two parents need custody in um, in a child's life. But I feel like this is something else. Um, it feels like this is something that's just kind of about politics in the Indian community or the Arab community. There's a lot of shit that seems to be happening with, like, birth, um, status. Uh, like, in any relationship, in any culture, in any racial group, people are going to get together who, like, break up because it just doesn't work out. Like, even though, even with the best intentions and, the you know, really good people, like, Sometimes you're just not meant for that person and you get into something with them and you try to make it work, but it's just not going to work. It's just not going to work and that's okay. But it is a really shitty situation because it sounds like in this situation, the stepmother is trying to turn the, the, turn the kid against his biological mother and like that doesn't make any sense at all. Like when people try to do shit like that, that's when kids grow up and they completely rebel because like as soon as a kid turns 18 they're going to like they're obviously they're going to start going out into the world on their own and they're going to be able to see shit for themselves which is like the really strange thing i think with like kanye west and north at this point like he's putting her in all these music videos and all these things like i'm not sure if they're trying to make her into an entertainer i do think there's a lot of like white kids in america who would probably look up to her, listen to her, whatever music and stuff that she puts out, but I also think it's, like, seriously taking away from her ability to be a child, which is a very bad thing. It's a very, very bad thing. But at the same time, it doesn't... Yeah, um, this is hilarious. Um, yeah, I don't, I really feel like that kid's gonna grow up and have a lot of fucking problems. Just, we already see, like, all the Kardashians have a lot of problems, but maybe they don't. I really don't know. I think the whole society has a lot of problems, but there's also a lot of people who don't have a lot of problems. There's a lot of people who have managed to live a nice, comfortable, little, normal life. Not to be funny or anything, but I think as you get older, you will start to realize you put on your conservative jeans and your little white t-shirt. You walk around Centennial Park and go listen to Folklore, some old Taylor Swift album, okay? You get stuck in your feelings about your own real life with your really basic job, and you will realize how content you actually are. You don't need the drama. You don't need to understand what Lotto is saying with ice rice. No one gives a shit. Who cares? Nobody watches Sexy Red except 
girls who have serious fucking problems. I'm sorry, like, Sexy Red will make you question femininity. She'll make you want to wear, like, a chastity belt. <laughs> I am no longer, if Sexy Red is a woman, I am no longer that. I don't want to be affiliated with that gender anymore. I am a they, them. 